Welcome to PagePlus. In this video, we're going to take a look at PagePlus's interface and see where key features are located. When you start PagePlus, you'll be greeted with the Startup Assistant. From here, you can open existing publications, access written and video tutorials, begin a new publication, start a publication using a variety of themed templates, and catch up with Serif Software News. So let's jump in and load a template. We'll start with the first one listed here. We can just click it and then click OK. We'll close the user details prompt for now and get straight on with looking at the interface. So along the top left here, we have the standard toolbar. This is where we can access operations like creating and saving files as well as various options to help manipulate objects in the publication. The toolbar directly below it is called the context toolbar, and its contents will change depending on which tool you have activated. So here down the left hand side we have our tools toolbar. This contains all the major tools you'll be using in PagePlus to create and edit your publications. Just to demonstrate the context toolbar, if we select a quick shape tool, we'll see it's changed to offer us options relating to that tool. Now an important part of PagePlus is opening and managing assets. So we've got the assets browser here. And basically the way it works is you click browse up here and you can choose various assets from a number of categories. And to use them, you simply click to add the assets you want, close the asset browser, and they are then ready to drag into your publication. If you want more working space, you can hide this asset browser tab by clicking here. And if you want to get the asset browser back, you can click that icon again. Now let's move across to the right hand side of the interface. We have a number of tabs here, including colors, swatches, transparency options, and line options. We can also manage all the pages in our publication, as well as manipulate individual layers, which are essentially objects that make up the publication. We can access text and object styles, and we have transform, align, character, and paragraph tabs, which will help us edit text and objects very quickly and efficiently. You're also able to customize these tabs as you see fit. For example, I could click the Pages tab here, and I could then click and drag it out. And this is called floating the tab. So I can drag it anywhere on the interface, resize it, and so you can tailor the workspace to your particular way of working. We can also dock tabs as well as float them. So for example, I could hover my Pages tab over the docking indicator here. And it's added the Pages tab to the same dock as the Assets browser. If, say for example, we've experimented with the workspace, and we're not happy and want to return to how it was, we can go to Workspace up here, and we actually have several default layouts we can choose from, but if we simply click Default, everything will be reset to how it was originally. So that's just a quick tour of the Page Plus interface. If you have any questions or queries, please do ask on the official Serif Community Plus website. Thank you for watching.